Join me as I dive into the latest AI news and put Elon Musk's Neuralink to the test. Can it really read my mind? Let's find out. Neuralink, a neurotechnology company founded by Elon Musk, has been making waves in the tech world with its ambitious goal of integrating the human brain with computers. Essentially, this means creating a seamless interface between our minds and machines. And with their recent advancements in brain-computer interface technology, it's no wonder people are excited and a little uneasy. But as we stand on the cusp of this revolutionary technology, we have to ask ourselves, what are the implications of having our minds read? I mean, think about it. The potential for privacy breaches, the risk of manipulation, and the blurring of lines between our innermost thoughts and the outside world. It's a slippery slope, and it's essential we consider the ethical implications before we dive headfirst into this brave new world. Take, for instance, the potential for employers or governments to access our thoughts without our consent. It's a nightmarish scenario, and one that we need to take seriously. And then there's the question of who gets to decide what's done with our brain data, and who's accountable if something goes wrong. As we delve deeper into this technology, it's crucial we prioritize transparency and accountability. But how does Neuralink work, you ask? Well, the technology relies on a tiny chip implanted in the brain, which can read and write neural signals. This chip, known as the N1 sensor, is connected to a series of electrodes that can detect even the slightest changes in brain activity. And with advanced AI algorithms, Neuralink can interpret these signals, allowing people to control devices with their minds. The potential applications are staggering. Paralyzed individuals could regain control over their bodies, and people with severe depression could find new hope. The technology behind Neuralink is undeniably groundbreaking. One of the most impressive aspects of Neuralink is its ability to detect and analyze brain signals in real time. This means that the technology can quickly adapt to an individual's thoughts and intentions, allowing for seamless communication between the brain and a device. It's like having a superpower and it's easy to see why people are excited. In a recent demo, Neuralink showcased its technology by having a paralyzed individual control a computer with their thoughts. It was a breathtaking moment, and one that highlighted the potential of this technology to change lives. The implications of this technology are far-reaching and it's hard not to get caught up in the excitement. Imagine being able to control your smartphone with your mind, or having a prosthetic limb that responds to your thoughts. It's a future that's both exhilarating and unsettling, and one that raises important questions about the boundaries between humans and machines. In that moment when Neuralink demonstrated its ability to interpret brain signals in real time, we caught a glimpse of a future that's rapidly approaching. A future where the lines between our minds and machines are blurry and where the possibilities are endless. As we look to the future, it's clear that Neuralink has the potential to revolutionize the way we interact with technology. But as we move forward, it's essential we prioritize responsible innovation and consider the ethical implications of this technology. The future of human-computer interaction is rapidly taking shape, and it's up to us to ensure it's a future we want to live in. Thanks for watching and don't forget to share your thoughts on mind-reading technology in the comments below.